What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we do have market talk. Yes, we do have market talk. Hopefully we get a locker code video after this as well and yes today we got the worst packs in history man. These are the worst packs I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Do not pop these packs. This is what you get every single time. Okay, so <laughs> Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button. Let's get 100 likes on the video, man. Make sure to drop the sub because we do post a lot. This is our fourth video today. And uh, just, dude, these packs are so bad. And we want to make MT, so you guys are here for the MT, the market crash, all that good stuff. So, yeah, we're going to go over that. Uh, if you guys need MT, make sure to hit me up on uh, Xbox or PS4. I mean, on Twitter, which is in the link in the description, or Instagram, which is also in the description. But, yes, guys, today... We do have some locker codes and whatnot. Um, just kidding. We have some content and whatnot. But uh, yeah, these packs really got my mood off. I'm really upset. But yeah, today we have a huge market crash. We have all these new cards. And what do you guys should be doing right now to make thousands, if not millions of MT? Definitely snipe out these pink diamonds. This, this method is going to make you a lot of MT. So uh, it is the showtime. Showtime Pink Diamond Refresh, man. I am telling you, this should be money. Wow, Nate Robinson. I have him in my collection, so enable Nate Robinson out. We got the pennies. We got the LeBrons. These cards should pop up every second. And are they worth... Are they worth the... What's it called? I can't even think of the word right now. Are they worth the um, investment? Are they worth the investment? Um, It depends. It depends what you get them for. I feel like 7900 and under is definitely a good investment value. It really just depends. Penny Hardaway's already at like 8,000 MT. So it, it completely depends. But I'm just saying this filter right here should make you a lot of MT. Like it should make you thousands, if not millions of MT. And also, a lot of people want to know um, how much you think the Kareem is going to go for. Um, it depends. We're going to go over the Opals right now. Let's see what they're going for. Um, so we got the Showtime Rashad Lewis going for 549k. He could play the two, which is insane because Rashad Lewis, man, is very good at shooting. He's a very good two. He's not going to be the best defensive player, but yeah, he's very expensive. Chris Webber, power forward center, man. This car is good too. Honestly, I say this set goes for around 2 million MT. I think that's reliable, boo, but this, this Colt Kareem is so damn good. All the Opals are going to go for at least 300k, I think. I think they're going to go for at least 300k because all the pink diamonds are cheap. So honestly, maybe 1.5 mil for Lucky. Rashad Lewis is probably going to be the most expensive one. Then we're going to see probably J Jimmy Butler. Shaq's probably going to be the cheapest. And then Weber's going to be the third cheapest. That's my predictions. Um, if you guys want, man, Galaxy Opal Showtime filter is also a very good filter. Because if you end up getting one, man, you're going to make a million MT. Literally, you're going to make 500 KMT, 300 KMT, 100 KMT, whatever you are. But Showtime Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter is definitely going to be the best ones right now. And now let's go over the market crash, man. There's a lot to talk about. So Taco Fall at 100,000 MT is absolutely insane, okay? Um, every single card in the game is going to drop, and then they're going to rise. So Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson is still at 310K, which is insane, um, if you guys want, if you go to switch on the Go Magic Johnson filter, that would be crazy, man. Go Magic Johnson going for a lot. Larry Bird still cheap. Joel B dropped 100,000 MT. Taco Fall going for around 100. Bosch is down 150,000. If you guys remember last week, man, he was at 300,000 MT. He's going to be around 170,000 MT now. So he dropped a lot. This is crazy, man. The market crash is here. MJ dropped a little bit. Pascal Siakam is now a buyout. I just bought him yesterday for 115k. Blake Griffin's around 140. Um, this is just insanity. Like, if you guys didn't sell your team, you probably should now. Let's look at the prime players, see what's going on over there. 
There's a lot going on, guys. There is a huge market crash going on. Kawhi Leonard's down a lot, man. Kawhi Leonard was rocking around a mil when he first dropped. Paul George is around the same price. He dropped about 50K. And then we have that last mystery player. We're probably going to buy Kawhi sooner or later. If you guys didn't know, man, Nate Robinson bullied Ivers Goat, uh, Larry Bird, Kawhi Leonard, and I Shaquille O'Neal, and I absolutely destroyed the kid with Nate Robinson. I, it was crazy. I beat him. It was a close game because he had all the GOAT players, but he got destroyed. So, yeah, right now, should you guys buy the prime players? Should you make MT? It all depends. Right now, is it a good time to buy prime players? I would honestly say yes. I think prime players right now are probably a good thing to buy. You probably can make a lot of MT off the prime players. So, I say prime players are definitely worth the buy right now. They are down a lot. Lamar Odom's around 240k, Luka's around 180, and Paul George's around 450, 450. So this set is costing around 900k, 1.1, 1.3, 1.4 mil right now without the last mystery player. So yeah, this set's probably gonna cost around 1.9 million MT. So whatever the mystery player is, it might be Zion. I don't know what it is, but hopefully it's OP. It's gotta be something very, very OP. Okay. Um, let's see. Spotlight. There's a lot of empty making methods, man. The pink diamond filter should be popping off like crazy today. It should be every refresh pink diamond every single time, bro. I'm telling you, every time you refresh pink diamond filter, it's going to be a snipe. Joe Caldwell is so cheap. I don't know where kids are getting him from, but he's very cheap. Wilson Chandler pink diamond is cheap. These cards are OP for around 7,000 MT, man. 7,800 for Jeff Teague. Man, these cards are going to pop up like crazy, man. Joe Caldwell going for 6K. I find that insane. Darius Miles for 7,700. Man, these packs really created a huge market crash. And if I were you, I would probably get on this and start sniping like a maniac because that's how you're going to make most of your MT. I don't know why Joe Caldwell is cheap. I guess he was in like some pack or something. But yeah, the pink diamond filter should be going off every time you refresh around 6,200 MT. Make sure to buy out some cards. Probably pick up Jeff Teague and Joe Caldwell. 5,500 for Joe Caldwell. There must be a locker code that I didn't know about that definitely just got leaked. There has to be some type of locker code, man. I'm telling you right now. There is definitely a leak code if Joe Caldwell is going for that cheap. I don't know what the locker code is, but they're 110% is because when you see Pink Diamonds go for that cheap, you're going to see some locker code. So I don't think... He is worth the buy. He wasn't in the locker code, I don't think, the other day with the Andre Iguodala. So, it's just kind of interesting. Um, you're probably going to see a lot of these new pink diamonds pop up on this filter to make a lot of MT. Uh, let's check out the diamond filter. Let's see what's going on there. Usually when they drop promos like this, the diamonds are dirt cheap because that's a snipe. I probably missed it. Oh, we got a 1450 Lamar Odom. Um, you're going to see these diamonds go for cheap because if you think about it, man... All these diamonds, they quick sell for 1500 And then when there's an overflow of diamonds, they're going to pop up on almost every single refresh. So these diamond cards. Also, this Sean Bradley diamond is going to be a god for budget ballers because he's 7-5, I think. So this is the card that's going to go match up with Taco Fall and whatnot. Let's see if we can find him. Um, Sean Bradley diamond, man. I'm telling you, that's a very, very good card. Let's see. 7-6, seven, seven, man. 83 more shot, 92 mid-range. This card is going to stop Taco Fall. He is very slow, but you're going to see a ton of kids run Taco Fall consistently. And with that being said, you can make a lot of MT. Also, honestly, I think Sean Bradley is worth the investment. Honestly, for 1700 I'm probably going to buy about 100 of them. I say he goes up to 3,000 MT. 1,000 per 100, that's a million. I mean, that's 100,000 MT made, so... We're probably just going to snipe these Sean Bradleys all day and hope for the best. And then probably invest in him. Um, he's probably the best diamond you, I could think of because of his height. So Sean Bradley's definitely a good investment. Danny Manning's also a very good card to invest in because he's very good. But yeah, you guys should probably buy your team right now. Danny Manning, very good card, man. Great offense, great defense, very good card. But yeah, guys, that's really all we got for the video, man. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed Nate Robinson gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the pack opening. Now we are just going to wait for a locker call. But yes, guys, that's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. You guys are goaded. Have a good one. Peace.